Welcome to a special Noisy Pixel Top 10 list. Straight from PAX East 2024, we wanted to bring you a curated list of the top 10 indie games that need to be on your wish list. From the haunting depths of puzzle-filled dungeons to the vibrant neon-lit streets of Akihabara, our journey through the show floor has uncovered stories of resilience, adventure, and the unbreakable human spirit. These games, each unique in their storytelling, gameplay mechanics, and artistic vision, represent the pinnacle of indie creativity. Join us as we explore worlds both familiar and fantastical, meeting characters who will challenge, entertain, and inspire you. Whether you're a fan of eerie explorations, strategic battles, or heartwarming tales of connection, there's something here for you. The Exhibitor Hall of PAX East may be vast, but I was able to use my detective instincts to sniff out the most interesting mystery game at the show. Tokyo Psychodemic takes place in Tokyo following a three-year-long epidemic. However, happiness only lasts so long after strange paranormal incidences begin to pop up and it's up to you and your team to solve the cases. Tokyo Psychodemic challenges players to think like detectives, analyzing images and surveillance footage and organizing evidence on an evidence board to piece together the truth behind the unsolvable cases. The attention to detail in the game's mechanics reflects a meticulous commitment to realism, from scrutinizing security camera footage to discerning the intricate relationships between pieces of evidence. Players navigate through the remnants of Tokyo, piecing together stories of survival, loss, and the indomitable human spirit in the face of overwhelming despair. Tokyo Psychodemic is an immersive journey into a world where science and supernatural collide, offering a unique experience that is as intellectually stimulating as it is emotionally engaging. Inti Creates is leaving its comfort zone of 2D action to deliver a deck-building adventure inspired by the systems found in Mega Man Battle Network. Card NCL has players jump into the digital world of cards and chaos where they must travel through maze-like stages. In the dungeons, enemies will hinder progression, but the allure of growing your deck of cards and meeting new allies can't be passed up. Details on the narrative of Card NCL will be revealed over time, but right now, we know that there are over 300 cards available and 50 vocal tracks for special muse card types. During combat, players use cards that require AP to cause damage. Utilizing specific combinations of cards can unleash high damage combos, but the battlefield becomes a puzzle as you must time when to move and avoid damage. If mixing RPG elements with deck building and musical sounds is your jam, please do not miss out on this one. Cricket J's really peculiar game continues to catch our attention and now it even has a release date of August 15th. This game may have a quirky title, but it's attached to a heartwarming narrative with unique JRPG mechanics. Cricket invites players on a whimsical journey with Jay, who, after facing a devastating loss, is determined to alter the past. The adventure sets off towards the gates of Yamalia, a mythical realm on the moon believed to fulfill any wish. The adventure weaves through a tapestry of engaging locations and scenarios, from forests and cities to rock concerts and fan conventions. What makes Cricket stand out is its blend of traditional RPG elements and innovative gameplay twists. The game doesn't feature random encounters or unnecessary level grinding, but instead offers a world rich with adventure and surprising outcomes. Combat remains refreshingly dynamic, emphasizing timed hits and coordination with a party of intriguing characters to execute powerful combo attacks. The promise of meaningful interactions adds a layer of depth, making your choices and actions pivotal to the unfolding story. With a fully original soundtrack to boot, Cricket J's really peculiar game is shaping up to be a peculiar yet captivating title that JRPG fans won't want to overlook. As we wander through the indie maze of PAX East, Pipistrello and the Cursed Yo-Yo caught our eye with its unique blend of narrative-driven adventure and retro platforming action. This 2D top-down journey offers a unique take on the platforming genre, all thanks to a weapon we never knew could be so helpful, a yo-yo. Pippet, the underdog of the prestigious Pipistrello family, finds himself in the midst of a corporation war that threatens his family's legacy. Armed with nothing but his trusty yo-yo, Pippet sets out on an urban adventure across the city's diverse districts, each overrun by crime lords vying for control. The game promises an expansive world with over a thousand screens filled with secrets, challenges, and an array of enemies defeated by innovative yo-yo tricks. What really sets Pipistrello apart is its fresh take on platforming mechanics. Your yo-yo becomes a weapon and a tool for exploration, allowing you to swing, climb, and dash through the city in ways that feel like parkour with a twist. Through gameplay, players can unlock several yo-yo moves, badges for customization, and upgrades that promise to keep your gameplay engaged and varied. After getting our hands on it, it's easy to see that Pepistrello and the Cursed Yo-Yo offers a compelling reason to dive into its Yo-Yo-vania experience. During the loudness of the Paxi's show floor, Kamaru offered a peaceful respite with its enchanting premise of building a sanctuary for frogs. 
This cozy farming sim draws you into its world where the simple joys of nurturing nature blend seamlessly with the rewarding task of community building. Tasked with reviving the wetlands of their childhood, players embark on a mission to collect, breed, and care for over 50 unique frogs. The essence of Kamaru extends beyond amphibian care into the realm of habitat restoration and customization. Through polluted culture, players reintroduce water to drylands and plant native species, creating a self-sustaining ecosystem that supports your growing frog population. There are also a few customization options, where the furniture you choose and the colors you paint can attract new frog species. As you sculpt the refuge into a haven for these charming creatures, Kamaru becomes a testament to the impact of thoughtful stewardship on the natural world, offering a serene escape into an experience that's as nurturing as it is engaging. One look at Kamikaze Last Plains and you can probably guess why I had to stop by and play it. This provocative title combines the immersive storytelling of a visual novel with the action of an arcade shoot-em-up, all wrapped up in a hand-drawn adventure. Players are thrust into a war-torn kingdom where they take on the role of a pilot in the Elite Squadron, tasked with determining the fate of the war alongside two powerful beings, Alba and Hannah, known as Last Planes. Despite their contrasting natures, both share a mysterious gift that could either save the kingdom or lead to its downfall. Through the gameplay, you're forced with choices that shape the narrative, leading to various endings that reveal more about Alba and Hannah's complex characters. Kamikaze Last Plane's unique blend of genres offers the tension of shmups with the narrative storytelling of visual novels to deliver a balanced experience, with a gallery of beautiful hand-drawn etchy illustrations to unlock and a story that weaves together the intensity of battle with the warmth of genuine connections, Kamikaze Last Plane's is an experience that belongs on your wishlist, as it does mine. Freaked Flea Pit is once again capturing my attention, but this time with its newly added audio tracks. During the show, I was able to preview the Japanese audio, which easily added a new layer of quality to this already addicting adventure. Freaked Flea Pit plunges players into a world pulsating with neon lights where demonic forces dance to the beat of a dynamic soundtrack that shifts and changes based on your actions. Imagine navigating through the nine circles of hell, but each level morphs and twists procedurally, ensuring every journey is fraught with unexpected encounters and hidden secrets. Now that, all while being serenaded by a soundtrack that reacts to your every move. But Freaked Flea Pin is more than just eye-catching visuals and innovative audio design. The game introduces players to a handful of eccentric characters, each with their own twisted backstory and hundreds of story events that reveal the depths of the narrative's dark humor. These interactions lead to choices that determine unlockable items and upgrades along with story-altering actions. As you battle your way through each of Hell's circles, confronting its formidable bosses, players can discover a unique blend of action, exploration, and decision-making, all set to a soundtrack that ensures no two playthroughs are ever the same. If you're in need of a heavy dose of insanity, this is the game. In the neon-lit corners of Akihabara, amidst the buzz of tech and tradition, lies an intriguing narrative-driven game discovered at PAX East. Called Hookah Haze, set in the year 2XXX, players step into the shoes of Taru, a young manager embarking on a journey within the cozy confines of a new hookah lounge. Developed by a small team of female developers at Acquire, Hookah Haze takes inspiration from games like Coffee Talk and Valhalla, but adds a hookah twist. As Taru, players navigate the delicate art of socializing with an eclectic mix of characters, each interaction steering the story through choices made in the haze of the late night conversations. The game cleverly uses tobacco flavor recommendations as a mechanic to influence the narrative's direction, reflecting the protagonist's impact on the lounge and its patrons. At its heart, Hookah Haze delves deep into the lives of the three unique girls, each grappling with their own struggles from workplace issues to haunting past traumas. The game explores themes of belonging and personal growth as Taru forms bonds with these characters through shared hookah sessions. These connections bring a new purpose to Taru's life, challenging him to make the most of the time he has left after a dire diagnosis. At first, I just thought this game looked cute, but there is depth to this visually gripping title. During some free time exploring the event, Animal Well caught our eye as a mesmerizing journey into the heart of a pixelated yet profoundly detailed world. As players hatch from their in-game flower, they're invited to explore the depth of an enigmatic well, a place where beauty and eeriness coalesce. This is an experience that doesn't hold the hand of a player, and instead encourages you to explore and find your way by whatever means possible. That's not to say that there isn't a challenge here, as puzzles and locked doors make progression difficult. The world of Animal Well is a puzzle box of atmospheric density 
density, packed with secrets waiting to be uncovered and creatures that range from the benign to the foreboding, all rendered in stunning pixel art. The genius of Animal Well lies in its non-linear exploration and the multifaceted utility of each item discovered. Players can light candles to ward off the darkness, slowly piecing together their map in whatever sequence they choose. The environment is a character in itself, with enemies, items, and the very landscape engaging in a complex dance of cause and effect. This systematic interaction encourages players to view every detail as a potential key to unlocking the well's deeper mysteries. Animal Well invites adventurers to reassess their notions of safety and danger, offering a unique experience that blends the thrill of exploration with the cerebral challenge of unraveling an ever-evolving mystery. It's sometimes rare to find a visual novel on the show floor of an event but that didn't stop us from seeking out the secret defiance the wall between us. This eerie visual novel weaves the destinies of two young women against the backdrop of a world teetering on the brink of unrest. Set before the events of its main game, which is currently still in development, this prequel delves into the themes of purpose, struggle, and the serendipitous paths that draw souls together. As players navigate the game, they are invited into a divided world where the fragile ceasefire between humans and vampires hangs by a thread underscored by a prophecy promising to bridge the divide or shatter the peace forever. Scarlet Defiance features dual perspectives from character Sophia, the determined leader of the Resistance army burdened with the secret that threatens her cause, and Vladka, the vampire princess of prophecy, destined to mend the rift between worlds yet haunted by the visions of a mysterious girl. Through the eyes of these characters, players will explore the complexities of duty, desire, and destiny, enriched by a beautiful soundtrack and animated CGs that bring the story's pivotal moments to life. And that about wraps up our journey through PAX East 2024's indie game lineup. Each title we've explored today stands as a testament to the innovation and passion of indie developers. As we look forward to these titles' release, we encourage you to add them to your wishlist and support the indie game community. Remember, the worlds we've glimpsed today are just the beginning. Behind every corner of the gaming universe light stories waiting to be told and adventures waiting to be had. Stay tuned to Noisy Pixel for more updates, reviews, and insights into the ever-evolving world of video games. Until next time, nerds.